will create a dynamic web project using HTML, CSS, and TypeScript. This tutorial is designed for those who have a basic understanding of these technologies, but want a quick way to add TypeScript to their projects. We start from the basics and gradually integrate tools that enhance our development workflow. By the end of this tutorial, you have a web page that responds to user interactions in real time, a perfect lightweight setup to start your projects in the future. This guide assumes you have Node.js and TypeScript installed. If not, visit nodejs.org to download and install Node.js, which includes npm, the Node Package Manager, and then install TypeScript globally using npm install-g TypeScript. First, we create the project directory, and inside this, we initialize our project with npm. This step creates a package.json file, which is like the brain of our project, keeping track of all our dependencies. Now we install TypeScript as a development dependency, and then we initialize TypeScript. This creates the TypeScript configuration file. Next, I'm creating three key files. Our HTML file, a CSS file for styling, and of course, our TypeScript file, where the magic happens. In the CSS, I'm setting a cool dark background and a light text color. It's going to give our page a sleek look. In the HTML file, add the head and body. Link the main.js script from the TypeScript file. In the main.cs file, we wait for the DOM content to load. And here's the plan. When we click on our header, a new paragraph pops up. Let's see what we've got so far. I've linked the CSS in our HTML and compiled our TypeScript. Now, opening the file in a browser, there it is. Click the header and boom, a new paragraph appears. But you know what? We can make this even better. Let's cut down the hassle of refreshing our browser every time we make a change. I'm adding Light Server to our project. It's a nifty tool that refreshes our browser automatically whenever we change our HTML or CSS. Let's add a new script to run the server and launch it from the command line. And now we have auto refresh on HTML CSS changes. But wait, there's a catch. Our TypeScript changes aren't refreshing live. That's where concurrently comes in. This package allows us to run multiple commands concurrently. In our case, we want to run the TSC compiler with a watch flag, so that every time the TypeScript is modified, it gets compiled into JavaScript. And simultaneously, we also want to run the light server, so that it continues to work as before. Alright, with concurrently in place, watch this. I'm changing the TypeScript file, saving it and boom, our page updates instantly. No more manual refreshing. This is a game changer for our workflow and saves us a ton of time. Subscribe now for more cool stuff. See you in the next one.